it might be a bit quiet. Crazy, seems like they're filming for ITV's busiest airport today. So welcome back to the vlog. I have just boarded a flight. As you can see, I just flew from Heathrow, Terminal 2. I've just touched down in Paris and Charles de Gaulle on what was quite a busy flight to be honest. I now have a couple of hours over before I catch a connecting flight west towards Brest. I'll tell you a bit more information on that soon. This little airport in Brest. Uh, my accommodation is only about a 20 minute drive away so I've called an Uber to the other side of town and I'm staying by the coast. So it is now just after 6 p.m. in French time and uh, my flight this morning from Heathrow was at midday. I'll tell you what with all this Covid restrictions it was so easy to get on a plane and get away. Merci. So it looks like just a short taxi ride and I'm staying outside of or just at the top of this shop called Dog Pizza. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I think we lucked out with this place a little bit. Um, nice, nice room. You can never really tell from those uh, online photos sometimes that the place looks amazing then you get there but this to be fair not bad never been to Brest before um, from the drive in it looks really really nice nice little town looking forward to exploring a little bit so isolation in Brest day one so as far as I can see based on the government the French government's website as to rules in isolation is that I'm allowed out outside for two hours a day. But I don't have a bicycle, so I mean, going for a two hour run is gonna be pretty impressive considering I haven't run in a long time. What I have done actually is very efficient use of my time as I found some of France's best produce, Smurf Haribo's. And how could I forget, I've absolutely filled my cupboard full of pastries. So day two of isolation and it is now the weekend, it's Saturday. Uh, this morning was beautifully, beautifully sunny. I went out for a run, which was interesting. I got lost, I got a stitch, and the 5K took me a long time. But since the weather has turned and it is now pretty grim and wet and cold. So welcome to the streets of Brest where pretty much every shop window, as you can see, has Grand Depart, Tour de France decorations, which is great. But today being Sunday, third day of isolation, it's rainy, as you can see, beautiful weather this week. It's market day. Grab some lunch, a little toasty, or as they say here, croque monsieur. I forgot that of course um, it's Sunday, so everything is closed, or most things are closed. This weekend is the week before the Tour de France starts, which means it's the national championships weekend for every country pretty much except England, of course. Ours are in October for some reason. I'm just gonna go back now and watch the Spanish, I think, or the Italian national championships and see if the winner and the wearer of the jersey is gonna be taking part in the Tour de France. Three days in, getting a little bit claustrophobic in that, in that space, even though I'm, I am allowed out for a few hours. Day of lost count now, it's now Monday. Um, before the tour and I've just um, had a, a couple an hour walk down the high street and actually just setting up the fan zone over in the center of town with all the yellow tents and everything. I guess it's about time that I explained exactly what I'd be doing here at the tour. 
I'm actually at the tour with a company called Velon who are based in London and their aim and their hope within the sport of cycling is to progress the teams and to help them to monetize and optimize their operations in terms of revenue. Uh, so I've been working with Velon for a couple of months now and you might have seen on Instagram and YouTube the on bike footage which is a really great insight uh, where they stick the GoPros on the riders bikes themselves. So during the Giro I worked on actually editing that footage. But for the tour itself I'm here uh, working with ASO on behalf of Velon um, to actually go through the raw footage from the GoPros after each stage. They send the finish line truck at the finish of every single Tour de France stage of this year's race. So really, really excited to actually work on the event and get paid for it and be part of the caravan. Uh, obviously not the rider side, but more the staff side is, is a dream come true. Hopefully at the same time, although I won't be able to vlog every day, hopefully I'll be able to bring you a little bit of insight from at least my side of the job. ASO are extremely careful about accredited areas and having the right passes and all that sort of thing. So that's me and what I'm doing here in France and working towards over the next three weeks. If you did have any questions specifically about what I'll be getting up to or anything you want to ask, please do write down below in the comments and I'll try my best to get back to you. So, Tuesday, day five. Um, it is now the evening, as you might be able to tell. I just ordered the biggest Domino's pizza I think I've ever seen. It was massive. But yeah, I had my pizza. I am approaching the end of my isolation period. There is only two days left. Tomorrow, I had hoped to hire a bike and go out for a little spin, quick spin. Uh, but unfortunately, all of the local bike shops are not hiring bikes due to COVID, which is very disappointing. Um, so I've got a little idea. It is now the Wednesday. I am free tomorrow when I go and get my COVID test. As you can see by the team buses, I'm just walking past. This is the team of AG2R Citroën Le Mondial. And the boys are in town. The boys are arriving. I can hire one of these. So I'm going to take this thing on a little spin around town and maybe even see if I can pick up a KOM. We'll see. Welcome to Brest on two wheels. This bike is a rental bike from a company called Donkey Republic, I think. And it's actually an e-bike, which means technically getting a KOM would be cheating or frowned upon. But I feel like the e-bike capabilities on this bike outweigh the fact that it's a city bike. But anyway, the segment that I found was probably the biggest climb in the region. Uh, I mean, it's not a climb, it's a hill. There's nothing very steep around here. So it's the biggest hill I could find. segment at the moment is a touch over four minutes averaging 17 miles an hour so on this thing it's going to be a challenge well it's a pirate ship didn't expect to see that here well, this is where they're doing the team's presentation cool Go and see what happens. I think I have a headwind, which is not going to help things, but let's find out. I'm gonna stop up here and find out. Woo. So I didn't get the segment, but I did get second. Four and a half minutes, 24K an hour average. 
ouch, absolutely no way I can get that com without a road bike, 20 seconds quicker. Fair play. I won't have access to a bike for probably a while yet, so making the most of this. So I found the third team with uh, Bahrain Victorious over here, and they look to have upgraded their fleet with a cooking van exclusively for the tour, I guess. Awesome. So that's about all for today's video. I'm gonna tune out. Um, stay tuned for more from the Tour de France. As I explained yesterday, I do not have accreditation to film here. And that's not why I'm at the tour. So although I do plan to bring you a couple more videos, I have been able to pre-film a load of videos before I came out. So stay tuned for more action from back in the UK. And hopefully we'll catch you for a few more videos from out here at the tour. As usual guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it really helps the channel out and i really do appreciate it but stay tuned until the next one and we'll see you then ciao